Hello, I'm Rob Reiner, Tachyma's Director of Product Marketing. Today we're going to demonstrate Prodigy's ability to run application binaries built for different instruction set architectures on our Prodigy FPGA emulation system using dynamic binary translation. To save time, we've booted Tachyma Linux on the FPGA emulator in advance. In this demo, we will be using the x86 binary of the popular SQL database engine SQLite. We are already able to compile and run SQLite natively on the Prodigy ISA. So let's start with verifying that our current SQLite binary is in fact the x86 one. We can do that using the file command on the SQLite 3 file. We can see that it is an x86 executable file. From the user's point of view, there is no special steps required to run an x86 binary on Prodigy. So let's run it. SQLite is now running and we can interact with it using its shell. Let's start with loading some data from a CSV file into the capitals table. Under the hood, the Linux kernel uses a feature called miscellaneous binary format to determine that we want to run an x86 binary and instead of running it directly the kernel runs our binary using the Kimu x86-64 emulator. The data has been loaded. Let's now check the SQL schema of the table and try out a simple query. We will get the name of a country whose capital city is Bratislava. And we got the correct result Slovakia. This was just a simple, quick example of Prodigy's dynamic binary translation capability, which will allow our customers and partners to use their existing applications even before they are natively supported. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates.